Maybe you've had one of these thoughts before. I really like her, she's a great person, but there's two or three things I struggle with and I just don't know if I could be married to her for the rest of my life unless these change. Or maybe he's a great guy, we get along great, but I don't know if he has the drive to lead me or the family someday if we were to get married down the road. This is a common crossroads for a lot of dating relationships, but what I'm finding is a lot of people are pushing past the concerns, hoping and praying that this other person would eventually step into their quote, potential somewhere down the road. So today on Relation Shots, I wanna give you five reasons not to date for potential. Hey, welcome to Relation Shots. My name is Eric Wooten. If this is your first time hanging out with us, welcome. So glad that you're here with us today. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So today I want to talk about a topic that I keep hearing more and more of with dating couples. It's this idea that they're dating somebody and they know that the person they're dating right now is not the kind of person they want to marry but they believe the person has potential and so they're aspiring that at some point this person somewhere down the road can step into the potential and that would be the kind of person they want to marry. So today what I want to do is I want to talk, give you five reasons not to date for potential. Starting with number one is hope is not a solid foundation for a relationship. Saying things like, well, I hope that she changes and if these three things changes, we'll be great as a couple. Or you know what, once we get committed, I hope that he'll change these behaviors because now we're in a much more committed marriage relationship. Hope is not your friend in this case. I'm not talking about biblical hope, I'm talking about your wishful thinking that at some point, somewhere down the line, this person will step into their potential and you'll have this great relationship because they've now reached their potential. You need to be okay with the person they are now to marry and if they grow and improve and step into their potential somewhere down the road, that's just icing on the cake. But hope is not a place that you wanna start a relationship on. Thought number two is this. You are not in control of their potential. No matter how hard you try, you'll never be able to control whether or not they feel like doing the hard work of stepping into and growing into their potential. And if you're trying to drive them to do it, you'll continually be frustrated and they'll be frustrated that you keep pushing on them to do something they may not want to do on their own. A relationship where you consistently want more for the other person than they want for themselves is called parenting. You do not want to marry somebody that you have to parent. So if they're not stepping into their potential, you don't want to be the person to do it. You'll never be in control of whether or not they decide to step into their potential. Third reason not to date for potential is you don't want to be their motivation. Now, some people get flattered when they think, oh, this person loves me so much, they're changing because I want them to change. And that sounds sweet and that may sound romantic, uh, but in the long term, that's not a very good recipe for a healthy relationship. Anybody can change in the short term because they're trying to win your love, but that's not a good long-term plan for continued growth and them reaching their full potential. I promise you, you do not want to be the other person's motivation for change because then here's what happens. If you disappoint them, if you let them down, if you hurt them, if you frustrate them, and you will do all of those things in a relationship, now their motivation for change is gone and they will not be doing the hard work to actually change in the relationship. So you don't want to carry the weight of another person's motivation for change. That makes your relationship performance driven and that's not a healthy motivation for them and it's not a healthy weight for you to carry in the relationship. So you don't want to be their motivation for change. Reason number four is it makes the other person's change the focus of the relationship. The focus of a relationship should be how can you serve and love one another. If your focus is solely on if or if not, they're changing in the relationship, all of what you do in the relationship will rise and fall on what you perceive to be happening based on what you can see. If you feel like there's new patterns and there's new habits and there's new language, you're gonna get excited and you're gonna be happy and satisfied in a relationship. As soon as you see an old pattern or an old habit or you don't see the change that you want, you're gonna lose hope for the relationship. So if the focus becomes their change, 
That's not a good relationship and your relationship satisfaction will rise and fall on what you think is happening and you may not always be able to see what's happening underneath the surface. So that's not a good reason to date somebody for potential. And the fifth reason is simply, it means you're settling. If you're dating somebody for potential, it means you're settling for something you're not satisfied with right now. And I promise you, you do not want to settle in a relationship. Settling is not a great start for a relationship. And you may think to yourself, well, I'd rather settle than be single, but I'm telling you that's a terrible idea. It's much better to be single than it is to be lonely in a house with somebody who is cold towards you, laying in a bed with somebody who hasn't touched you for six months. That's loneliness. Singleness is not that kind of loneliness. Listen, being single means you get to focus all of your attention, all your energy on you growing yourself into your potential, which ultimately might satisfy somebody else who's not looking to date for potential themselves. So I'm telling you, do not settle for a relationship. You'll find yourself somewhere down the road wondering why you ever settled for this. And here's the reality. Even if they do grow into whatever potential you might think is there, you're also growing as well. So by the time they reach the potential you thought you were interested in, your growth now makes it mean that that potential is not what you were looking for anymore anyway. So there's five reasons not to date for potential. You need to know that you know that you know the person you're dating right now is the kind of person you want to marry. And as you both grow, the relationship will continue to grow. If they're not that person, stop dating for potential let them go and chase their own potential while you chase yours. And then if the, somehow something brings the two of you back together, you're both better for it. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about this in the comment section below. If you think this will be helpful to somebody you know who's dating a project right now, go ahead and forward to that, that to them as well. And I'll see you right here next time on Relationships.